Hello everyone, uh, my name is Akil. Hello everyone. Hello everyone, my name is Akil. Uh, we are uh, having this weekly sessions of live sample problem solving sessions every week from Tuesday 7 to 8 pm. So this is week 10. Uh, so let's continue with today's week. Uh, today's week uh, will focus mainly on the iron carbide diagrams, phase diagram. Okay. So the first question is the invariant reaction of a mixture of solid and liquid transforming to another solid at constant temperature upon cooling is known as. So uh, can you guys think for a minute? If you know the answer, you can either unmute yourself and speak or you can type it also in the answer. No messages. Okay. Let's see. Uh, so there are mainly actually five types of uh, reactions, invariant reactions. Uh, so let's see what those five are. Monotectic. So here one liquid upon heating or cooling transforms into one liquid plus one solid. Okay. So this is cooling and upon heating. Okay, so this is monotectic reaction. One liquid gives rise to two solids, to one liquid and one solid. So, in the phase diagram, this would if you are in the phase diagram, it would look something of this sort. Okay, so some point like this, if you see, then that would be a monotectic point. Okay. So the next one is eutectic. So here one liquid gives rise to two solids. Okay. So in the phase diagrams, it would look something like this. One liquid gives rise to solid one plus solid two. So this would be a eutectic point. Okay. Next we have eutectoid. So in that a solid gives rise to two new solids. Okay, so that would look uh, something like this. Okay, so he here the question is uh, mixture of solid and liquid transforming into another solid. So we didn't reach that phase yet. So next is peritectic. So here one liquid plus one solid gives rise to new solid. So this is peritectic. Okay. So one liquid plus one solid gives rise to new solid. And there is one final reaction that is peritectoid. Here two solids upon cooling or heating gives rise to third different solid. Okay. So this is the peritectoid reaction. So here the question is we have a mixture of solid and liquid transforming into another solid. So liquid plus solid transforming into another solid. So that is a peritectic reaction. Okay. So these are the five actual reactions. So based on this, uh, similar questions might be there in your assignments. So if liquid is transformed into liquid plus solid, that's monotectic. Liquid giving rise to two solids, eutectic. Solid giving rise to two solids, eutectoid. Liquid plus solid, new solid, peritectic. Solid plus solid gives rise to new solid, peritectoid. Okay. So. Now let's see the next question. So in this question, list the type of variants of pure iron obtained during cooling and comment on their magnetic nature and crystal structure. So 
the question is regarding pure iron so we don't have any alloys nothing is added to the pure iron uh, no carbon no nickel or anything so just pure iron and uh, we are asked to identify what are the phases or what are the forms it has from the molten state to the full solid final room temperature state so does anyone know the phases which it shows alpha yes 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 that's what i'm talking about so so first it's a molten liquid okay molten liquid initially at very high temperature so the melting point is around um, 1538 degrees celsius so above this temperature it's molten liquid now further uh, cooling from here actually it initially goes to delta phase okay this is delta iron and bcc crystal structure it has so now we are supposed to do both uh, crystal structure also we need to tell and magnetic nature also okay so further cooling it so to below 1394 degrees celsius now you'll actually go into gamma phase so this is fcc okay this gamma phase is called austenite so it has fcc and this is non magnetic it's not uh, magnetic in nature now further cooling this to temperatures below 910 degrees celsius now you will get alpha iron which is called ferrite okay so again the crystal structure changes to bcc so initially from molten it will have bcc and then gamma it turns to fcc and then again alpha which is bcc and this initial re alpha iron is uh, at higher temperatures it's actually not magnetic but if you further cool it to below 765 degrees celsius it will still be alpha iron only and again bcc only but it becomes magnetic okay so if you are uh, cooling down the pure iron from uh, molten state these are the different phases which you will get first delta iron then gamma iron then alpha iron and in alpha iron only two phases magnetic and non magnetic okay so that is with that those are the in between things which you will find during uh, pure iron okay so now let's move on to yeah and also at room temperature uh, you will find iron magnetic because uh, it's always in the alpha iron phase pure iron you will uh, austenite uh, you will never get at room temperature it always turns to other forms okay so it's like there is one more question where uh, a similar thing comes into question yeah yeah we will see, we will see that we will see that it will come okay yeah. so now next question yeah identify all the transformation or reaction points in iron rn carbide iron. so we have seen these different reaction points right monotectic eutectic eutectoid peritectic peritectoid now we have to find if such points exist in this iron iron carbide diagram okay so take a minute to look at this diagram and uh, then we will see the points we actually have three points here so try to see based on this kind of uh, the right red uh, graphs which i have drawn so based on that you can identify if you are seeing such a type of point then that is that type of reaction so see if you can find such a type of points yes 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 1493 there is a point 
so there we have below delta uh, below gamma phase austenite and uh, here we have delta plus liquid so what would be this point yeah peritectic point so we have solid plus liquid converting to solid so this is a peritectic point so this is happening at 1493 degrees celsius and the composition okay around 0.3 or 0.4 carbon okay next what else points are available yeah so liquid transforming to two solids right so what will be this point yeah yes so liquid transforming to two points that is an eutectic point with the temperatures 1147 degrees celsius and composition 4.3% yes any other point yeah so what is happening here yeah so which kind of point it is yeah so a solid transforming into two solids so you take part so the temperature is 727 degrees celsius and composition is 0.76 yeah. so are there any other points no yeah so in main iron carbide diagram you will have these three reaction points peritectic eutectic and eutectic okay yeah so here also if you see at room temperature you don't have any gamma at all yeah so only ferrite and cementite will be there at room temperature even they also actually if you wait forever like infinitely long time thousands of years they will become rna and graphite it seems they won't stay at these phases okay so that is why this actual diagram is a non equilibrium diagram but because it takes thousands of years for practicality we can take it as a equilibrium diagram itself okay so next question the eutectoid mixture of cementite and ferrite occurs at which temperature and which uh, composition eutectoid point yeah this one this is the eutectoid point so the question is that only actually so it happens at 727 degree celsius and percentage composition is 0.76 yeah. and what is it called what is the eutectoid mixture called yeah eutectoid mixture what is it called what's the common name so eutectoid mixture is called uh, perlite okay yeah so eutectoid mixture of alpha ferrite and cementite is called perlite so this fe3c is it a phase or a intermetallic point this point yeah so this is not actually a phase of two substances it's a intermetallic phase like how alpha is a in between uh, like structure of iron inside 
the voids carbon is present inside alpha so similar to that this is an intermetallic compound fe3c okay so they are also not exactly phase as you would say like phase when we say phase combustion two things should be present so inside gamma also there is iron uh, there is carbon but uh, that is a pure uh, what it's not exactly pure uh, how will i say that it's not like two different types of uh, substances are there so if you see here you can find different microstructures okay in gamma plus fe3c you will have fe3c is one type of structure and gamma is one type of structure both together will be present but if you see this way this point it will only be a single uniform homogeneous point okay yeah so similar to that this uh, fe3c cementite is also a single uh, point okay next question uh, so for this also you should know what the names some names the leduberite is not seen in microstructure at room temperature why so do you know what is leduberite yeah what is it yes this is leduberite the eutectic mixture is called leduberite eutectic mixture of austenite and cementite is leduberite now this doesn't exist at room temperature why why don't we see microstructure of leduberite at room temperature yes you we won't have any gamma everything will be converted to alpha and fe3c so that is why you won't see leduberite's microstructure at room temperature okay so only at that higher temperatures you would see the leduberite's uh, structure not at room temperature okay. yeah so can any of you answer this general range of carbon percentage in steels and cast iron yeah Uh, if they want to speak they can speak so they can unmute themselves and speak so they are always open to the yes cast iron cast iron yeah yeah Okay, but uh, okay. As per my knowledge, I follow sir. So for me, it's two to six point six seven percent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ah, so uh, there there won't be any like intermediate phase or anything. It will just be separated out. Carbon will separate out from iron. you will have separate carbon uh, structure in a way so let's take after 6.67 so let's say you are somewhere here 
so you will have um, so take it as cementite okay some structure of cementite and this would be carbon so instead of uh, dissolving in the iron it will just uh, accumulate outside okay yeah that is why it's not a solid solution Hmm. Yeah, so in cast iron also there are different levels. In mild steel also there are like three levels: high carbon steel, low carbon steel, and mild steel. So in that too, there might be different variants. But the, as you are saying, the highest carbon percentage is always brittle. Yeah. So. low carbon and they might be good to use but uh, in general cast iron is brittle compared to steel yeah yeah it's up to like different classifications uh, steel has been being researched from the last 100 200 years so there might be in between so many classifications on but up to this course we are not uh, going in that depth yeah. this course is basics of material engineering right? not advanced steel course yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we will see that there is actually a question like that that's why i'm uh, i didn't answer i have okay yeah so next question so the maximum solubility of carbon in alpha ferrite is yes so the answer here is 0.022 what about uh, in any iron phase any any iron what is the maximum solubility mm. that is not pure iron right no something is carbon content is there but it created a new phase a new intermetallic compound between iron and carbon so that is not uh, what we want see if you take alpha ferrite inside that carbon sits in the interstitial voids without disturbing the iron's crystal structure so that kind of uh, system are we, we are talking about that's what uh, there is a maximum solubility like in this case in alpha ferrite yeah ah uh, that is uh, yeah in gamma austenite it is uh, 2. Point, uh, one second 2.14 and here it's 0.022 yeah so for delta also something will exist but i think uh, Yeah, 6.7 cementite is also 6.7 only. That is correct answer. Yeah. Uh, no, that depends on the question, right? Uh, so if they mentioned uh, which one it is, then based on that you can choose. the assignment because cemented is basically a intermetallic phase between iron and carbon and uh, you can put 6.67% of carbon in that phase so that means uh, that much is soluble right yeah so at this point it's a pure cemented phase so in that uh, i think uh, that would be a valid answer 6.7 in the cemented case but if you are looking at gamma austenite it is 2.14 mm. 
but it formed an intermetallic compound. These are like pure iron's uh, crystal structure without changing that your uh, carbon just sits somewhere. Yeah, I think so. Next question. Okay. The mass fractions of pro eutectoid ferrite and pearlite in a plain carbon steel is so pro eutectoid ferrite and pearlite mass fractions are given 0.286 and 0.714. Now, what concentration of carbon does this correspond to? So protected ferrite and perlite. So, where will that point be in this graph to begin with? Yeah. So, we have protected ferrite. Okay, in ferrite also there are two types of ferrites in this case. So, and perlite. So, what is perlite? It is the eutectoid mixture, right? So, pearlite is uh, eutectoid mixture of alpha and Fe3. Okay. So, at which case, at which point, exact point will we generate pearlite, pure pearlite? Yes, at this point, if we are, we will generate pure uh, pearlite, all the gamma, because at that point only gamma exists all the gamma will turn, con convert to pure perlite okay at uh, 727 degrees celsius and 0.76 percentage carbon pure all the gamma will convert to perlite okay now what uh, what happens when you move to the right here So, here uh, you have gamma and Fe3C. So, whatever gamma is there that will convert to pearlite and Fe3C will say, say, stay same as Fe3C. Okay. Yeah. So, let us say here A percentage gamma is there and 1 minus A percentage Fe3C. Right. Just above. So, at this point, just above that uh, cooling down point, you have some percentage of gamma and the rest as Fe3C. Okay? So, when you go just below, this A percentage will convert to pure light. And this 1 minus A will stay as Fe3C only. Okay? So, here you have pure light and cementite. Pure light Inside pearlite again you have alpha plus Fe3C. Okay. So, here on the right side, uh, if you are on the right side of the ejectoid point, you have two types of Fe3C. One is primary Fe3C and one as a part of ejectoid mixture. Okay. So, similarly, if you are on the left, So, you will have B percentage of uh, alpha and 1 minus B percentage uh, gamma, right? Just above the detected point. It is alpha plus gamma mixture, right? So, now if you cool down, what will you have? Whatever gamma is there, that will convert to a pair light and whatever alpha is there, it will stay as alpha. And in pearlite again you have alpha plus Fe3C. So, in this left side you have two types of alpha, primary alpha and alpha as a part of uh, pearlite mixture. Okay? Yeah. Fe3C. Yeah. And the existing alpha will stay like alpha only. That which stays as alpha only is called primary alpha or pro alpha. 
that pro basically means primary that's it yeah, yeah. primary alpha means alpha is already formed no just above that point there is already some alpha so that alpha stays the same so because it's already formed it's called primary alpha that's it or protected alpha So in uh, pro eutectic or eutectoid, that uh, that depends on which point it is. Basically, it's a primary phase, and we have whatever that reaction mixture phase. Okay. Yeah. So this is primary Fe3C or pro eutectoid uh, Fe3C. So that primary means pro and this point is eutectoid point, so eutectoid, that is it. So here you will have pro eutectic and uh, that way, okay. So here you, you will have um, pro eutectic um, gamma plus eutectic uh, ladybrite which is eutectic mixture. Okay. So, if you are here, so here you will have pro eutectic Fe3C. No, pro eutectic. Yeah. Let you write which is the eutectic mix. Okay. Yeah. So, that is how this is. Now we are supposed to find we have it uh, per light. Uh, okay, that is uh, okay. This is explained already in the graph. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So now we have protected ferrite and perlite. Okay. So we have which uh, which side we are left or right? We have protected ferrite. Yeah. So, left to eutectoid point, you will have pro eutectoid alpha plus perlite. Okay. Now, we need to find out the mass fractions of these two. Okay. So, we are taking it as a B. Uh, okay. Uh, now, uh, what did it, what was the mass fractions? Here, uh, it is, uh, so pro eutectoid alphas mass fraction was same as just before eutectoid point, uh, pro uh, alpha phase, right. So, what I am saying is this B is same as this B. You understood? So, previous just to be above the eutectoid point, whatever alpha plus something else. So, that existing alpha will become primary alpha below the eutectoid point. So, now, now we are given mass fractions of pro eutectoid ferrite and perlite. Okay. So, this mass fraction uh, we are given 0.286. And this one 0.714. Okay. Yeah. So where is perlite coming from? Gamma turning into perlite, right? So this is uh, below the eutectoid point. Okay. This corresponds to below the eutectoid point. Now just above the eutectoid point. So what will it be? What will this exact composition really will be? In which phase? Yeah. So alpha plus whatever perlite that will be in actually gamma phase, right? Okay. So that is how we do because it's the same line it follows. All the perlite came from the pure gamma which is there just above the detector point. So, to, for these questions, 
you need to go to the uh, composition just above the ejected point and then see what are the ratios okay you got my point yeah so 728 yeah just above so it's just touching point you can think of it like touching point now yeah so what will be this carbon percentage c now 4 kind of point what will be this c no 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 we need a carbon percentage for the case of like alpha being 0.286 and gamma being 0.74 fractions what will be the carbon percentage because when you fixed the alpha percentage you fixed this point right now we need to find what is the corresponding carbon percentage how can you calculate this mass fraction of alpha phase you know the lever rule which we used yeah so alpha is actually to the left side phase so mass fraction of alpha would be 0.76 minus c by 0.76 minus 0.022 is that correct so we are somewhere here just above the ejected point okay alpha plus gamma okay so this is already given as yeah it's already given as 0.286 so now if we calculate c is equal to 0.76 Minus zero point two eight six into point seven six minus zero point zero two. Okay. So this comes around point five. Okay. So this point is point uh, five. So this is how you can calculate now. Now you understood. So basically, if the question is asked in reverse way. at 0.5 0.55 percentage of carbon content how much would be the pro ejected alpha and how much would be the cemented or perlet so we have one more question i think you will get better clarity there and in last week also i think we have similar questions okay next question in 2 kg of steel 99.8 per 99.6 iron and 0.4 weight per cent carbon cool to just below ejectoid the amount of ejectoid ferrite formed is so 0.4 so this is 0.76 so somewhere 0.4 per cent carbon and just below ejectoid so this point we were asked how much is ejectoid ferrite so can you answer this suresh no yeah similar formula now at that point what are all the phases which will be there can you tell me yeah pro ejectoid butoid alpha comma and perlite right so perlite is actually a eutectic mix of alpha comma fe3c now so there are actually three phases in a way so this is uh, p pr alpha we can say let's say and this is ejectoid right actually Ejectoid. So let's call it EU alpha. 
and then EOFE3C. So there are actually three different types of uh, phases or three different types of uh, composition, some things. Okay. So now, how can we get this? They are asking only eutectoid ferrite. So they are asking what would be this composition? Question. So is there a way that we can get that? Can you tell me how much is uh, PR alpha? That composition, let us take it as C, okay. Yeah. So, this much should be protected alpha, right? How much would be perlite? Yeah. Is 1 minus of PR alpha. Okay. Now, how much would be alpha? Only alpha. No. No, just alpha. So, this point is basically alpha plus Fe3C, right? If you are not considering in between cases, then what would be alpha? No, similar, simple, simple, similar to what you did earlier, lever rule, right? Now, because we are below and we are only talking about alpha and Fe3C, like total alpha, so it is this line, fully you need to see. Yeah, previously when you are doing protected alpha and perlite, you did above, just above. So, you are only seeing this point. Now you are just below, you are talking about total alpha and Fe3C in total. So you need to do till, till the ending. So this would be 6.7 minus C by 6.7 minus 0 0.02, right? So this is total alpha, this is protected alpha. What would be detected alpha? Yes, exactly. So total alpha minus uh, protected alpha. That's it. So if you substitute uh, point four, here we are getting uh, point four eight seven eight. So almost uh, forty eight. Okay, mass fraction point four eight seven eight. Let's take it like that only. Now total alpha would be six point seven minus zero point four by. 6.7 minus 0 0.02. This would turn out 0 0.9434. Okay. Now, eutectide alpha would be 0 0.9434 minus 0 0.4878. Okay. This would give 0 0.4556. So now did you understand? So we have pro eutectoid alpha plus here light. So pro eutectoid alpha is uh, 48.78 percentage. So per light would be uh, 51.22 percentage. Okay. Now, in that perlite, again we have eutectoid alpha and Fe3C, okay. So, this in total it would account for uh, so 45.56 and this cementite would be how much? No, no, no. This much only 51.22 percent is per litre, right? In that 45.56 uh, is detected alpha. So, the rest. So, basically 1 minus 0 0.9434. Okay, 5.66 percent. So, if you add everything up, 48.78 plus 45.56 plus 5.66. 
this should be 100 or you add up these two again it would be 100. So, these are the three different uh, substances which are existing. Now, the this yeah yeah or mm, this is basically b plus c yeah. okay mm. now uh, the yeah total alpha is uh, a plus b okay and uh, fa 3 c or total you can say because there is only one fa 3 c that is only c Okay, so in that case, these are the all compositions that exist, all phase uh, mass fractions. If you are asking only protected alpha from the total, 48.7 percent. You are asking only eutectoid alpha in the total, 45.56 percent. If you are asking total cementite, that is 5.66 percent. If you are asked total perlite, that is 51.22 percent, like that. Okay, it's little confusing, but if you see, it's not uh, that confusing. If you write down everything. Now the question is uh, in total 2 kgs, how much is eutectoid ferrite? So we know that eutectoid ferrite is 45.56 percent. So in 2 kgs, um, U alpha would be um, 0.4556 into 2 kgs, right? So it's almost 0.91 kgs. That's it. Is this clear? Now, similarly, if you are to the right side also, you can do that would be perlite plus pure uh, cementite. That is it. It is everything is similar only. Okay. Now, which is the hardest phase that appears in Fe, Fe3C phase right now? Which will have the highest hardness? Which point? Yeah, exactly. Highest carbon percentage, higher hardness. That is it directly. So, cementite. So, this line is cool. Next question. The mass fraction of eutectoid cementite in an iron carbon alloy is 0 0.09. Okay. The possible compositions are Okay, let us uh, do this question and then we will go back to that because that will be little uh, take some time. Mm. Yeah, we will look at SAE designations. So, here SAE is given as 1040. So, what does this mean? SAE 1040. Any idea, sir? Yeah. 1 means, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, one second, I will just. Um, So, I will just uh, copy this. Okay, yeah, so 1040 as you are saying is a plain carbon steel, one means. Okay, and second digit tells you the if it is any major alloy, the alloy is percentage, and the last two digits will tell you carbon percentage. Okay, so one basically saying it is a plain carbon of. 0.4 percent carbon. So, if it is plain carbon steel with 0.4 percent, which 
case would it be hypo hyper eutectoids or hypo hyper eutectics so where does point 4 stay so this is point 4 right so you are to the left of eutectoid point so which would it be left of eutectoid point left of eutectoid point is called uh, hypo ok so this is hypo and this is hypo so this is 0.4 percent so it is hypo eutectoid ok now next question is the approximate composition of steel 2340 so 2 means nickel and 3 means basically 3 percent nickel. So, second digit always tells you approximately the percentage of the major alloy and the th third to four digits will tell you approximate carbon percentage. So, this 40 means actually 0.4 percent. Okay. So, first digit uh, you will see in SAR slides uh, what exactly these are. 1 is carbon steel, 2 means nickel, 3 means nickel and uh, chromium, 4 means molybdenum, 5 is chromium, 6 is chromium, vanadium, 7 is tungsten. Okay. 8 is nickel, chromium and manganese or molybdenum sorry. Usually first two are fine I think. These first two three are fine I think. In general uh, I have not seen at least uh, more other things in any questions. Okay. So, okay, now we are done with SAE designations also. Yeah, so now let us try this question. So, here we are given eutectoid cementite is 0 0.09. Okay. So, eutectoid cementite means it could be like uh, what are the possibilities? So, let us say if you are here exactly, exactly at detector point. So, what would be the cementite in that case? So, entire thing would be eutectoids uh, cementite plus eutectoids uh, alpha right at this point. And um, so alpha plus F Now to the right we have uh, cementite, basically pro cementite, or we can say pro eutectoid cementite. Plus eutectoid, let's say okay, eutectoid. So, we have eutectoid alpha plus eutectoid uh, Fe3C, right? Yeah. To the left, what are the three things we have? We have pro eutectoid alpha and eutectoid alpha and eutectoid uh, cementite. So, I am basically writing all the three final three phases, these three protected alpha, protected and cemented. Okay. Yeah. For what? For what?
yeah what is the percentage of cementite at detected point yeah that one so if you want the cementite okay let's uh, do that question uh, mass fraction of cementite at uh, 0.76 percentage carbon okay yes so we want cemented cemented is to the right so we will do uh, 0.76 minus 0 0.022 so just below detector point we are doing okay so this point and this point by 0 6.7 minus 0 0.02 okay this would be the cement rate at uh, that point yes 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 yeah okay uh, now this cementite would be part of eutectoid mixture pure eutectoid mixture okay yeah so, in this case, there won't be any protected alpha or protected uh, cemented. There will only be eutectoid mixture of alpha and uh, cemented. That's it at this exact point. So, now the question is eutectoid cemented is given as 0 0.09. So, let us say if this, uh, if we do, what will this give us? Uh, okay, let us do this calculation. So, 0 0.76 minus 0 0.022. So, 0.738 by 6.61. So, 0 0.11. So, yeah. so, mass fraction would be 0 0.11, mass fraction of cemented, eutectoid cementite or pure cement, cemented both. Okay. Now, what will happen if you move to the right to this eutectoid cementite? Uh, if you move to the right, total cemented percentage will increase. But now, previously only eutectoid cemented is there. Now, pro eutectoid cemented will also come right. So, actually, eutectoid cemented will decrease. Okay. So, let us uh, do this. Uh, when we see the answer, then you will know. Okay. So, let us look at the two points KCA, KSB. So, this to the left we will think it as case 1, to the right we will take it as case 2, okay. So, in case 1, now we need to calculate the percentages of these 3, PR alpha plus eutectoid alpha plus eutectoid cementate, okay. So, because we have only uh, eutectoid alpha and pro alpha and eutectoid cementate on the left case, how can we get the eutectoid cementate? We can directly draw just below the point, right? Yeah. So, that would be 6, uh, okay, we are uh, want that point. So, let us take it as case this A and this here B composition. So, a minus 0 0.022 by 6.7 minus 0 0.02, correct? Because it, the pro eutectoid is just alpha, so it does not matter, we do not need to worry about it. We only need to worry about cemented. So, if you are worrying only about cemented, then we can just below the eutectoid point if we do, then total alpha and total cemented. Whatever cemented is eutectoid cement. So, it is just this. So, this is 0 0.09. So, A equal to 0 0.09 into 6.7 minus 0 0.022 by 
plus 0 0.02 okay so let's calculate this this would give 0 0.623 percentage okay So now, uh, if carbon percentage is 0.623, then you can have uh, eutectide uh, ferrite, eutectide cemented as uh, 0 0.09 mass fraction. Okay. Now let's do case two. So in case two, what are all the points we have? We will have eutectide alpha, eutectide cementite, and and pro cementite. Yeah. So, this is basically total uh, cemented. Now, again we need to do what we did in our earlier question. Okay. So, first let us see pro eutectide Fe3C. So, what will this be? So, pro eutectide Fe3C means we need to do just above the eutectide point. So, we are calling that to be composition and this as you. So, So, B minus 0 0.76 by 6.67 minus 0 0.76, right. So, pro alpha is basically, pro cemented will basically be above eutectide point cementite composition. So, at this point, what will be the cementite uh, this thing? So, lever rule, this minus this by total, right. Now, what will be total cementite? Yeah, so total cementite we can directly get right. Total cementite you need to just look below the eutectide point. So, this is the total uh, it, uh, cementite. Now, what will be the eutectide cementite? total minus uh, pro eutectide cemented right so b minus 0 0.022 by 6.67 0 0.67 okay Is this clear? Yeah. Now, this is the eutectide cemented. This it is given as 0 0.09. Now, we need to calculate B. So, let me do that calculations. So, this would be B minus 0 0.022 by 6.678 minus B minus 0 0.09 into 0 0.09. So, this will give B into 1.678 minus 0 0.09 plus 0 0.02 by 6.67 by 5.9. So, this will give B as uh, 1.8625 percent. Okay. So, actually there are two carbon percentages possible where you will have eutectide cementite of 9 mass fraction, 0 0.09 mass fraction, 1.8625 percent. Point six two three percent. Detected FA3C could be 0 0.09 mass fraction, okay, in both cases. 
okay so that is it for today this is the last question so what is happening is when you move to the left uh, protected alpha is increasing and uh, cemented phase is decreasing whatever cemented is there that is detected cemented so its phase is decreasing because at detector point you have 11% going to the left will give you 0 0.09 so it is possible but when you are moving to the right what is happening is uh, total detected uh, total cemented is increasing but detected cemented comes from gamma okay so but because you are moving to the right uh, gamma's uh, composition is decreasing gamma's mass fraction so detected cemented mass fraction also decreases so whether you move to right or left it is possible to find carbon compositions where you can get a given uh, 0.09 mass fraction of detected cemented okay yeah in some cases uh, for some values of uh, this detected cemented it won't be possible uh, only one side might exist so if you do the similar calculations you will get uh, unreasonable values let's say maybe b comes out to be negative so that doesn't exist or if b comes out to be more than 6.7 percent that doesn't exist okay so like that you can see if the two cases exist or only one case exist okay so i think that is it for this week uh, thank you everyone uh, you can log out now yeah yeah